What's up guys, Stacy here from Becoming Financially Fit and today we have an interesting topic to talk about. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into what stimulus checks are, where they come from, the past history about stimulus checks, and most importantly, the chances that the US will get another $2,000 stimulus checks within the next couple months. But before we get into the content, if you haven't seen my channel before, I make videos about personal finance, financial literacy, savings, investing, and I also try to throw some entrepreneurship in there as well. So if you're interested in any of those videos or you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be updated anytime I put out new content. So for the past year, we've been dealing with the global pandemic. It's caused thousands of deaths and left the economy in ruin. This all started around late March to early February of last year, and it essentially shut the world down. So this meant that on top of a global pandemic, millions and millions of people were left jobless, not only in America, but all around the world. So the U.S. government stepped in and enacted the CARES Act of 2020, which essentially gave $1,200 stimulus checks to millions of Americans, along with a lot of aid for other states and small businesses. So my first question for you guys is, where does the money for these stimulus checks come from? Drop a comment below, and if you get the answer right, I'll make sure to give you a shout out. Well, the money comes from the Federal Reserve and not the taxpayer, yet. Think about the Fed as the bank for the US government. So without getting into too much detail, the Fed, or as others like to call it, the Federal Reserve, is not actually a governmental entity. Although it's called the Federal Reserve, it's actually a private business, but we won't get into too much detail about that in this video. So the Fed essentially buys bonds from the US government in exchange for cash, and that cash is then used to fund things like the CARES Act of 2020 or other governmental programs. And yes, it is legal for the Fed to technically print money or essentially create it out of thin air digitally. But when the US government sells their bonds to the Fed in exchange for this cash, it's not just free money. The US has to pay back the Fed at some point in time plus interest, which is where the US taxpayers come in. At some point in time down the road, the US taxpayers are going to be paying back this money to the government, which then the government is going to be paying back the Fed. So if you guessed earlier that the Fed was the creator of these US stimulus packages, then you're technically not wrong, but you also have to think about the US taxpayer who's essentially going to be have the burden of paying off this huge stimulus package and more stimulus package that we had in the past over years and years and years plus interest. So just to give you guys a quick analogy, imagine the Fed is a huge credit card or a line of credit that the US government pulls upon anytime they need it and the US taxpayers are essentially the people who pay that money back for the US government. Now, the biggest question a lot of Americans are asking, why are stimulus checks so important for the American economy? The answer is jobs and small businesses and I'll explain to you why. Follow along with me while I explain the intended cycle of the stimulus checks from the government's perspective. Step one, Americans receive the funds from the government and that check size depends on if they're single, they're married, or if they have kids. Step two, Americans start to spend this money at local shops and restaurants and on things like travel, leisure, and on things like their rent or their mortgage. Step three, because money is being spent at these local shops and restaurants, then these businesses can stay afloat and eventually they can even hire more individuals if their business is doing that well. Step four, if businesses can stay afloat and hire more people, that means more people are going to be making money. Final step, step five. The more money everyone has to spend, the better the economy will be and the process starts over and over again. So that's the intended process of getting money from the Fed to the US government, to the Americans, so they can start spending it within the economy to eventually start booming these businesses and starting the cycle over again so more money is being spent, more money is being spent. And just a little bonus step for you, the government's gonna be making a little percentage out of every dollar spent through the form of taxes. And this is the money that they're gonna use to actually pay back the Fed at the end of the day. So now, if this all sounds confusing to you, it's because it is. It's not an overnight fix, but it has worked in the past to save our American economy. The most recent example of a mass stimulus program was back during the financial crisis of 2008. The economy was getting absolutely rocked and companies were going out of business left and right. The incoming Obama administration distributed stimulus checks as a part of the Economic Stimulus Act of 2008, which saw check sizes of about $300 to $600 going out to individuals and double that for married couples filing jointly on their tax returns. 
Although it may not seem like a lot, those checks actually helped bring America out of recession and help the stock market boom from 2010 to 2020. But a lot of Americans and small businesses are still suffering from those days and what happened during the great financial crisis of 2008. Fast forward to the present day, and while the stock market may be at all-time highs, the economy for the working class American individual is in the dumps, and more plans for stimulus checks are on the docket for 2021. As of this recording, $1,200 stimulus checks have went out to millions of Americans, and another round of $600 stimulus checks are going out as we speak. There's another proposal to have $2,000 stimulus checks go out to millions of Americans, but we're gonna talk about if I really think there's a chance that these checks are gonna go out, or if this is just talk from the incoming Biden administration to help him ease his transition into office. I personally don't think there's going to be another round of $2,000 stimulus checks per person, just because it essentially took almost a year just to have an additional $600 go out to these American families. While you know every dollar that goes out from the government is good, all of this money, like I said earlier, is coming from the Fed, so eventually we're going to have to pay it back at some point in time. But I have a question for all of you guys that have watched to the end of the video. I really appreciate that, and now I have a question for you. There are many other nations out there giving their citizens monthly stimulus checks or they have a greater stimulus program in place. Do you think what the U.S. is doing with the two stimulus checks is enough, or do you think we need more? Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. And if you got some value out of this video, make sure you share it with a friend, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated anytime I post new content.